And you're welcome to the showbiz segment right here on the AM show. Now we're talking about rapper Gu, and he's back in Ghana after spending almost six months in America. My colleague Doreen Avio caught up with Guru and he shared his struggles being locked down in the States after plans of staying for just two weeks. It's been like uh, five to six months ever since I left Ghana. And the whole idea was, to, it was just about a holidays kind of a vacation. And after the two weeks, this whole COVID thing came up. So uh, I moved out from New York to Maryland, where I got a deal to record an album, like a, a record deal. We did, though there was this uh, whole COVID going on. Um, there was a curfew, you are not allowed to go anywhere. But we were able to find our way to the studio all the time because you can use the main road and I was just closer to the main road where um, I was moving from Virginia to Maryland. It, it wasn't that long distance. So we were able to keep ourselves busy even though there was all these challenges. But what happened was, you, you know, we more of like we do more appearance to cash out and then the most idea is not being able to step out but make use of um, the moment so we we channel the whole idea into recording in the studio and then shooting videos but to me it was okay though it was a, a whole experience and this whole Black Lives Matter also jumped yeah, out. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm yeah. sure you probably saw a yeah, few yeah, things with going the Floyd. on over there. We, were, we even joined the campaign. We, we went out, we, we were in the, like, we jumped out to the whole crowd with the whole numbers to support the black community over the Black Lives Matter cause. It was sort of like so disheartening watching your own black folks uh, being ripped off just like that so to me it was a great experience that was my first time in the states it was just for two weeks ended up in six months coming back it was the help of the government uh, by the evacuation flight or the protocol kind of um, uh, idea that the government the president of ghana big shout out to the the president for bringing out such a positive initiative but for some of us to get back home safe uh, were you missing Ghana then? Were of course, bro. <laughs> yeah. Listen, this this environment that you are not used to is just a new environment. You don't really do, know even anywhere. Transporting yourself, moving from one state to another was a problem. So looking at the whole vibe going on in Ghana, people are allowed to play a virtual concert and I was out there not being able to interact with like have that conversation with the fans giving back to the society that one i did i was out there but i was sending momos i was giving back to them even in uh kukufu in nkz i gave out a whole bus like two bus of uh provisions rice and everything and then every weekend i send i give out money to 20 people like some good cash and they were enjoying it <laughs> while i was just stuck not working wow. so to me it was a great, it, this whole thing is a great experience and it, it makes us cherish life the most. Because yeah. I had a chance to record an album and given a month to record, I recorded 30 songs. And this is a studio where the Future and the Wale's record. Even his album, some of the works took part there. And this is a studio that the Kendrick Lamar's and the Rick Rocks record. So having the opportunity to be part of that whole production, it works. Not like the normal studio vibe we get. This is a whole, like, I would say, a, a whole production house, like multimedia. Yeah. And every everything goes in there. The video shooting, recording, three different studios. And you, I had a chance to meet different acts from the Jamaica and everywhere. So to me, though I wasn't active like I, I wasn't here in Ghana but I was also joining or gaining some sort of experience and it's almost time to leave you and wrap up the AM show but thank you so much for your company information is a great source of power while we celebrate graphic at 70 and counting we also believe our content which is accepted as truth and accuracy every day should be accessible on the go. Access your favorite daily graphic and our weeklies, that's the Mirror, Graphic Business, Graphic Showbiz, Junior Graphic and Graphic Sports and Graphic News Plus app and enjoy up to 30% discount 
on your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, or annual subscription as best suits your wallet. This offer is on until October 31, 2020. Don't miss it. Download Graphic News Plus app on the Google Play Store or App Store as you remain abreast of and keep pace with the changing times on the go. Please stay safe, stop the spread, and always be the bearer of credible news from the Graphic Communications Group Limited. Graphic, truth, and accuracy every day. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Subscribe to Graphic News Plus for timely news on the go at 30% off download on Google Play Store and on the App Store. Well, that'll be it from the team. Thank you so much. But before I go, a very happy birthday to Dr. Opokuware Amponsa, or head of the plastic surgery department of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. This is coming from Seth Kwame Boateng. Apologies, we couldn't bring you Roland uh, from Dome Farsi, where some military men were wounded after a clash over land with some indigents there. This is the Dome News Channel. And you know, we don't only end with the AM show, there's subsequent bulletins, so we we'll definitely will bring you an update on what's happening there. But from the entire team and myself, Ben is Abu Lansa. Do enjoy the rest of your day and stay with us.